So in this video, we're going to be looking at scalar and vector fields, which you should have gone over in uh, um, your lectures or classes. And here we're going to be looking at something where they may ask you to find out what is the, uh, the nabla of phi. That can be one of the questions that's usually asked. Um, in this question, what they're asking you to do is find the derivative of it in terms of i, j, and k. So the, uh, the, what, the way they want you to do this is d phi over dx i plus d phi over dy j plus d phi over dz k. So what they're, they're actually asking is for you to differentiate this in terms of x, in terms of y, and in terms of z. So now let me take this entire function and differentiate in terms of x. So that's holding all the y's and z's as constants. Here we're going to get 4xyz plus 4y cubed. And then for d phi dy, we're going to get 2x squared z plus 12xy squared. And then for d phi dz, we will have uh, 2x squared y and as you can see there are no z terms in here so it's just going to be 0. Now let's get each of these points and put them into here. So nabla phi is that means going to be 4xyz plus 4y cubed i plus 2x squared z plus 12xy squared j plus 2x squared y k. So that's a little bit messy. That j right here has to be over there. But as you can see, that is kind of the full quote. That's, that, that's how simple it is. And um, the question may ask you, for example, at point p, where p is 1, 1, 1. All you have to do here is plug in your values of 1, 1, and 1, 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared, 1. And you plug it in, you'll get a value for f in terms of i, j, and k. 